Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you all of the extra resources, all of the fun things, the projects, all of the extra stuff that I have scheduled for us for our 2022, 2023 school year. I pulled out like all of it and I put it right here on my little nugget. Um, you guys, today's video is gonna be like a very informal video. This is not like one of my typical filming days. I'm actually doing this all on my own. Usually my husband is like watching the kids for me. They're taking a nap, we're on our spring break. So I decided to go ahead and film this video. So hopefully I can be successful in sharing with you guys all of this, but if you hear any chaos, Yes. If my toddler comes in here, anything happens, just know <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to do it all. So um, yeah, let me go ahead, you guys, and flip you around and show you guys like all of the extras and all the fun things that I'm adding into our school year. Okay, you guys, if you have not seen like my curriculum pick videos, I would definitely suggest you watch my curriculum picks video because it will kind of help you go along with all of the like resources and the books that I'm going to be showing you today. Um, so if you haven't watched it, then go ahead and stop right here and watch watch that video so you won't be kind of like confused or anything like that so um yeah so you guys uh in our science units this year we are actually going to be using god's design for heaven and earth and we are going to be focusing on the space unit i decided last minute that we're going to do the space and the water unit we're not going to do the space planet earth and water because um god's design for heaven and earth has like three units so i'm just going to focus on the two the space and the water so our main person, we or we're gonna be studying a few people, but the main person we're gonna be studying, and I might have my daughter like write a little book report on, or a bibliography, I should say, will be Katherine Johnson. So I picked up this book right here from Amazon, and um, hopefully this will be like a good book for Brielle to be able to read independently to find out more about Katherine Johnson and her impact in uh, space. So this is one of the resources that we're gonna be using. I also have Who Was Galeo. You guys, the Who Was books are great resources when you wanna add in like the extra things. And this right here is going to be a book we are going to be using as well, this Who Was book. So hopefully uh, Brielle will enjoy this as well. I also have Hidden Figures, you guys. Um, we actually use this book for Black History Month when my daughter was actually just getting a little glimpse of talking about Katherine Johnson. And um, you guys, I just wanna let you know, I'm still not afraid to use picture books in my homeschool for my older elementary uh, student because I feel like picture books are still good for them at this age and especially ones like this that is jam packed with a lot of information. So I'm really happy for Brielle to be able to learn about all the other women that impacted the space race and um, I definitely think this is gonna be a good book for us to read. I also want us to watch Hidden Figures, the movie. So that will be like something extra we can do as we're studying space. And I think that this will be like a fun little treat for her to be able to read the book and then we can watch the movie as well. Something else, my daughter, she actually picked up this book from Costco's when we went and it's a DK book. Of course, you guys, like I'm addicted. And this book is called Throughout the Night Sky. And um, I definitely think she is going to enjoy this. Uh, this doesn't just go and talk about um, excuse me this one just doesn't talk about space but it actually talks about different creatures it is a really really informative uh book and i really think that my daughter is going to love pulling out this book as a resource uh as we are talking about space and we are talking about how everything all connects and i really think that this is going to be like a good resource and a good tool for us to use and it was just so crazy she found this book at costco's and wanted us to buy it so um yeah this is going to be definitely a great one um and if you, of course you guys i love dk books i actually purchased this book on our first year of homeschooling so um i'm so happy that i can finally pull this out i thought we were going to be doing a space unit our first year however we didn't get to it so um i'm happy for us to be able to utilize this dk book you guys honestly i feel like if you wanted to study space and you are like confident um you can just get this book right here and you will be able to do a full space unit by yourself just using this DK book. Um, I'm not that savvy and confident just yet as a homeschooling mom. I definitely still 
uh, want to have like some type of guide but uh, this DK book you guys is beautiful I love the pictures so you guys I definitely feel like this is gonna be like a really really good resource to be able to pull out as we study space so I'm really excited for us to finally dig into this encyclopedia and again some of these resources that I'm showing you guys I have had since my first year of homeschooling so it's really really cool as I'm going into my third year of homeschooling all of the resources that I have just accumulated so as far as history you guys we are going to be studying American history this year and um, yeah I'm really excited we're going to be using um, beautiful feet American history which is going to be like a literature based history so these are just some of the extra resources that I have that I'm going to pull out when I feel like uh, we just need to dive in deeper into different top topics this book, you guys, is called An Indigenous People's History of the United States for Young People. I have read the first four chapters of this book and it was amazing. And I definitely feel like this right here, this book is definitely um, a good read for probably, I would say, if your kid is like in high school, maybe like ninth or 10th grade, you can actually assign them this book as an independent reader because it is written very, very simply uh, for understanding. And I really, really enjoyed it so far of what I have read. And I definitely feel like I'm gonna be pulling some nuggets out of this book as we are studying um, American history, early American history. This is another resource that I have, which is Howard Zinn's A Young People's History of the United States. And again, this is just a really good critical, um, critical thinking theory in-depth understanding um, different groups and their motives within United States history uh, this goes beyond timelines and dates but it really gives you a greater understanding of uh, just American history and I really have loved this one so far again I have read like the first five chapters of this book uh, which were primarily focusing on the early American history so I really feel like I have like a good um, a good understanding of it and if my daughter does have like critical questions I feel like I can answer them for her and we can pull this book out as a guide as well now who was books I have I have um, what is it what is the Declaration of Independence I have what was the gold rush what was the Lewis Clark expedition and what were the Salem witch trials as we are studying early American history I feel like these are going to be some fun ones for us to read I also have my uh, DK American history encyclopedia you guys like I love this encyclopedia I purchased this encyclopedia my first year of homeschooling and this was like the best purchase that I feel like I've purchased my first uh, year of homeschooling because we definitely have used this all of our first and second years we have have not dived deep into American history but when it was different topics or timelines that we were at especially as we were reading a lot of who was books I was able to pull out this DK encyclopedia and it definitely has been a great tool in my homeschool something else and this is a new one that I've added into my library which was the timelines for our timelines from black history leaders legends and legacies this encyclopedia you guys um, I purchased it uh, along for black history month and this again was a good resource and a tool that I'm going to continue to pull out and use as we are studying American history so these are like all of my extra books and resources that I'm going to be using for that now as far as projects goes you guys uh, we have two main projects that we're going to be doing so in heaven and earth our gods this, or in heaven and earth for our universe they have a big project that they're going to be doing where my daughter is going to be doing a solar system model and uh, she is going to be working on it as she goes throughout the solar system so I'm really excited for her to do this project this is just something she's going to be working on um, throughout the units as we go into space and then for um, early American history uh, through beautiful feet they have a few research projects that she's going to be doing a couple of lack books and things like that that she's going to be doing throughout this text they have recipes and things like that you guys this is amazing so um the research projects and the writing project she's going to be doing is going to be for uh, early American history. So that's going to be a way I can get some more writing uh, in for her. And her um, science project is going to be a solar system model. So yeah, those are going to be her two main projects for the year. Now, you guys, I'm going to give you like a sneak peek into uh, my daughter's uh, independent reading and our read alouds. I thought I was going to like make a separate video for it, but I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to show you guys right now. 
but here is a literature study that I want us to do which is roll of thunder hear my cry I really want my daughter as she is getting older to get used to breaking down books uh, for their vocabulary for their literary elements for the theme the plot the topic like all of those different like deeper components I as she's getting in this upper elementary beginning middle school phase I definitely want her to do that and I feel like roll of thunder hear my cry will be the perfect novel study for her to do um, I didn't include this one in my curriculum picks video just because this is an extra and if we don't get to it I'm gonna be okay with us doing this the next year however I do have this here if we are able to get into it um, it will be great um, again this is just like basic worksheets vocabulary uh, this has a lot of like critical thinking she's gonna be analyzing the characters um, it's just a really really great tool for me to be able to use um, as we are going through this book. I wanted to read this book this year, but I did want to do a um, literature guide with it. So I'm happy I went ahead and I purchased that along with it. Now, along with Brielle for reading, these are gonna be some of her independent assigned readers. Now, for the past few years, you guys, I have just allowed Brielle just to read whatever she wants, when she wants it. But this year, I do have a few books that I'm going to be assigning her to read. And along with her uh, being assigned reading these books, I am going to have her make an interactive journal where she has to, after she reads the book, she's going to have to answer these questions about the setting, the main conflict, the resolution, the protagonist and antagonist, and the main plot of the story. So this little uh, sheet she's going to have to do for each of the independent readers that I assign her. I'm not going to assign too many this year, but I do want her to get used to uh, being able to identify these things as she's reading a story. I know she loves reading for pleasure, but I do want her to get used to uh, being able to pull out and identify these things as she's reading uh, on her own. So I have some easy readers, you guys, um, especially as we're going into American history. These are way below her reading grade. However, I feel like because I'm having her do a little bit more with these books, it's, it's better for me to use like an easier book than for her to be doing like a bigger novel by herself, since this is going to be a part of like her independent reading. So I have the, what is, these are like nostalgic, you guys. I have an American Girl Me Chris, Christine. I actually purchased this one, you guys, from the thrift store. It was like 10 cents. So I'm happy I have this one, especially as we are doing American history. She's going to be reading Sarah Plain and Tall as an assigned reader. She's going to be reading The Courage of Sarah Noble. And again, you guys, these books are like so thin. She'll probably be able to read them in a day and answer this right here as far as like her independent reading. She is going to be reading uh, this book right here, which is an American Girl. This is Kayla's story. And I really feel like this is gonna be a really good read for her. This one might take her a little bit longer um, than the other ones. However, I feel like it's gonna be uh, great for her to be reading this as we are doing early American history. And again, you guys, this is like, <laughs> this is so nostalgic because I read these Addy books when I was, um, growing up and these are the uh, first three in the um, Addie series which is Addie Surprise, Addie Learns a Lesson, and Meet Addie. So these are going to be another books that she's going to be doing for her independent reading, independent assigned reading. So I feel like uh, this is not too much. Um, my daughter she's going to enjoy this so pretty much I'm going to have her do like maybe one or two assigned readings per month, answer her questions and um, yeah. Okay, now you guys, as far as our read alouds, I just kept it really, really simple. These are gonna be the books we're gonna be reading together. Um, she loves the Little House on the Prairie series, so we're gonna be finishing up. I have the first four years. I have um, Little Town on the Prairie. I have These Happy Golden Years. I have The Long Winter. I have a wrinkle in time because I really feel like this will be a really, really cool read aloud for us to read, especially as we're doing like our space unit. I have, um, the year of miss agnes you guys this is just a classic and i know this is definitely going to be a fast read but i just really felt like i wanted to read this one with uh, brielle i have um the secret garden i have esperanza's rising and i also have inside out and back again and i might be <laughs> reaching as far as like my my pal for like our read alouds especially because we are going to be doing like a literature based curriculum with our american history but i definitely just wanted to have like some selections for us to be able to read um this is going to be a heavy literature year for my daughter again like i said before um but i definitely think she can take it on 
Now, as far as poetry, you guys, we do poetry every other Friday. And this school year, um, we actually read through Maya Angelou. She was our poet for the year and it was so fun reading all of her poems. We only have like a few more pages left in Maya Angelou to finish up her for like our poetry time. So my book that I'm gonna be using this year is gonna be Out of Wonder, Poem Celebrating Poets. So I'm really excited for us to dive into uh, this one right here for like our poetry. Um, tea time that we're going to be doing i schedule poetry tea time you guys every other friday so just twice a month so this is going to be the main book that we are going to be going through so i'm really excited and if we finish this one too soon i really feel like we can still go back and read some more of my angelo and we can uh dive back into hip-hop speaks to children as well for like the times where we do do um poetry this hip hop speaks to children has like a CD-ROM component that goes with it. And um, yeah, I even think my younger ones will love this. So this is gonna be like our main book that we're gonna be use, using for poetry. Okay, you guys, something else that I have is I want Brielle to do a composer study. Brielle actually is practicing and learning how to play the piano. And I figured something to add into like our music aspect of our homeschool is for us to do a composer study. This composer study, you guys, is actually from the Heritage Mom blog. And this one is, let me see if I can pronounce it right. Is it Le Chevre de Saint Jean? Yes, because it's French. So I believe that's how you pronounce it. If I butchered it, I'm sorry, but this is going to be like our composer study that we're going to be studying about him. Uh, he was very prominent during the um, American Revolution. So when we get into the American Revolution within history, I feel like this will be a great time for us to pull out this composer study. It's very, very simple. If you guys want to uh, look it up, just go to heritagemomblog.com and she has like the schedule and everything completely free on her blog that you can do this composer study. This is just one of the three books, the other two books I'm going to check out from the library uh, that I need for this composer study. Now you guys, as far as health and mental health, I didn't share this right here on my main curriculum video just because I don't know or I don't know how long we are going to be going through these type of books. Uh, but these are some of the resources that I do have like for like health, emotional type of uh, studies that I want to do with my daughter. Uh, this book right here is called Me and My Feelings. And I am really, really excited to continue to read through this book right here with my daughter. And I definitely think she would love it. Um, this one right here is the book that I am reading with my toddlers. Uh, what are feelings? And this is just an Usborne Lift the Flat book, you guys. And this one is so cute. So I really feel like these are like really good um interactive ways for me to go over the fillings along with my daughter i can actually have a resource to do it with my toddlers and this book is so cute the speech therapist she actually recommended this book for leia so um i had to purchase this one from the usborne site so uh yeah these are like my emotional books now you guys for like health and safety and all those type of things my daughter actually read this book at the beginning of 2021 she read this book uh, the care and keeping of you this is just a 90s <laughs> type of care and keeping of you book uh, it goes over everything that a girl needs to know at my daughter's age um, I really didn't find anything wrong with this book this book was a really perfect introduction just for uh, just a basic health type of things that your 10 11 12 year old may be going through so um, this was a great resource however for this year you guys I went ahead and I got the care and keeping of you part two for her to go ahead and read and I definitely think this will just be a continuation of part one I also have this unit right here from the good and the beautiful I don't want to say it out loud just in case my channel gets flagged so you guys see the title and everything like that my me and my daughter we actually did go over the first two lessons of this because after she read this book you guys she came with me with a few questions and in august of last year we did do the first few lessons however before this year ends i do want to go ahead and complete this book right here um i'll give you guys a review on how i felt about this um if you know just as we finish it 
Uh, I don't read this word for word. I really just use it as a tool. So um, I cannot wait to come back to you guys with um, my overall and my final reviews of this um, unit from The Good and the Beautiful. Uh, we did start it, like I said, in July, August of last year. So I just want us to go ahead and finish it up. Um, again, this book right here, it go, it's a little bit deeper than the first one. So I know she will have more questions. So I just want to be able to have tools and resources to be able to answer those questions questions for um, my daughter. So this is going to be all the things that I'm going to be using for um, health. Now the last thing that I have that I'm going to show you guys and this might be a stretch is I have exploring nature with children you guys. This was like a midnight purchase that I purchased um, and you guys I so want to be like that nature mom and I really want to do this. I don't know how much or if it will get done, but I really, really want to want to do this exploring nature with children, especially with my younger ones. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and set out twice a month for us to do this. I know this curriculum, it is a year long curriculum. I'm not going to, you know, bound myself to it, but I definitely want to, you know, I want to get out there. I want to do more in nature, especially with my young toddlers. So this is just one of the DK Encyclopedia books that I already had on my shelf. I know this curriculum calls for other nature books that I will eventually add to my collection. However, this is just one of the books that I have that I know we can use as a resource, but um, this is a stretch. I'm not going to kill myself, but this is something that I, I aspire to do better in my homeschool. Okay, you guys, I know that was a long one. I was pretty chatty in today's video, but I hope you guys enjoy seeing like all the books, all the resources, and all like the extra things that I'm gonna be pulling out using as a tool. Um, I don't expect to complete or finish all these things that I showed you in its entirety. These are just uh, things and resources that I know I have on my shelf and things that I know I potentially want to be able to use within our homeschool. So you guys, um, hopefully today's video, you liked it. You like this chatty kind of like informal video. As always, you guys, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.